Hi, I'm Mike Corinde, Trailer System Trainer. Today I'm here with Max Gonzalez at the Indianapolis OC, and we're going to be working on some container repairs. Here are some of the tools needed for the repair. Be sure to take your before pictures, clean off the paint before you start welding. Now that you've cleaned the paint off of the area, you're ready to begin welding. When welding thinner panels like this, you're going to want to lower the voltage on your MIG welding machine as well as lower the wire speed. Once you're done welding on the outside, don't forget to go inside, clean off the area, prime it, and paint it white. Next, we're going to mark and cut out this damaged section of the panel. Once that's cut out, it's time to measure and cut a new piece to take its place. They're great for keeping, keeping the gap. You go in here like this. You just put one there for now. You can run it in the middle. But see how this doesn't match right here? Mm -hmm. This is a little bit off. So we're gonna have to do a little trimming to make sure that we're right where we need to be. This helps you hold it in place and it also keeps a perfect gap for you to run your welder through and weld it. So we just gotta do a little bit more fitting, a little bit more trimming just to get this piece in here perfectly. And then we'll be ready to weld it. Here's the new piece installed, lined up, and held in place with the butt welding clamp. Tack the new piece into place and weld. Once the new piece is welded into place and has had some time to cool, use your brush and or roller and use the appropriate primer and top coat to finish the job. Also, clean, prime, and paint the interior white and attach after pictures. Thanks for watching the video on these container repairs. I hope you found them helpful. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the training team.